much for you guys just look at the spine you know what the spine should look at like for your AP versus PA or AP PA and obliques so this one right here you can just look at the spine and you know that it's a what it's an AP or PA I don't really know because there's no air if there was air there would be a difference and I'll go over that in class <coughs> um, this person obviously you can see that um, they had to take had to take some uh, an upper shot because this person's got a really long um, large intestine from top to bottom and they do, they're not getting the top so they took an extra shot there so um, this we haven't really gone over this yet have we <coughs> all right so this is cecum here which is the first section mm -hmm. of the large intestine ascending colon is this flexure the paddock flexure or right colon this transverse, and you can see that the um, edema tip is here with the balloon because you can see the air in the little balloon. So, this is just an upper one, just because they didn't get any of the flexures there, so they just took an upper shot. You can see what's this. back up into the ilium. This is ilium here. Um, what position is this? Look at this line. Uh, RPO. RPO. Yeah. RPO. Any dogs is, are facing the right side, so it's an RPO. Yeah. It could have been an LAO, probably not, because the marker wouldn't, wouldn't, be look, wouldn't look like that. It would be flipped. Um, unfortunately, the obliques are mainly for the flexures. Um, it's the side up that opens up. So the RPO demonstrates the left colic flexure well, and the right colic flexure is kind of on top of itself. So they, they leave this at the top there. What's this one? Uh, uh, LPO. LPO. So what should open? RPO opens up the left colic flexure, the RPO right, right. Which you can kind of see, it's kind of, see how it's really closed on itself here? You can kind of see it opening up here, but they missed the top. The 
which is you and Floral, what position is this? So they um, they usually angle the beam. Don't write it down because I right off the top of my head I can't remember. Thirty five to forty degrees. Right? Yeah. Who's done a sigmoid? Okay. If they're AP, they angle thirty. Don't quote me on the number. Thirty five to forty degrees cephalid. If they're PA, they angle um, quad end. Thirty five to forty degrees. So and that just opens up because the sigmoid even though it looks open here, it's usually sitting on top of itself. Okay, so that's just to kind of open it up, the angle of the beam. You said that for APP, they act like they move? Yeah. Okay. Do you have it open? Yeah, 30 to 40 degrees of power. 30 to 40 degrees. <laughs> 30 to 40 degrees. Okay, 30 to 40. Okay, left lateral rectum. A lot of times they take the, the enema tip out. They didn't hear. So it all depends upon your facility, whether, whether they take the tip out first or, or not. Um, so, and it just opens up the rectum, the left lateral rectum. And then, like I said, they do a post, whether it's draining of the barium into the back or post EDAC, meaning the patient went to the bathroom. And it just, that shows the mucosal lining. polyps. <clears throat> What's a polyp? Does it grow? Which way does it grow? Good. So it, it, it grows inside the lumen. So if you had a whole column BE or a, a straight regular BE, you're not going to see any polyps, right? Because the barium is going to cover it up. So ACBEs are best for demonstrating polyps. Most places also do um, the cubes for ACBEs. That's why everybody's like, oh, I hate ACBEs. They don't like to do the cubes. are the same, except they do the cubes with the ACB. No one else has done an ACBE? Um, yeah, yeah. Maybe doing away with them. Okay, so over here, this one, just by looking at the spine, what would you say it was? AP or PA? Um, I'll go over it later. So anyway, it's, this is more or less a, a general survey. You can see there's reflux into the ilium here. They try not to do if they can help it, but sometimes it just just goes there. What's this one? Okay, this is an LPO. See how the right colon flexure is opened up here? Okay. We can see the appendix. See this little thing? We can see the appendix down there. It comes off the cecum. What's this one? Yeah, it's an RPO, which opens up the left colon. You know it was a right hip here. It was barium on the right side. Mm -hmm. Good. So you can see that the barium is on the right side. So the patient, that's the way the patient, because of gravity, that's the way the patient was lying. So this was a right lateral decay. 
but not this one. This is the left lateral right here. What I'm thinking, because you, the, with the cubes, because they're not matching, no? What do, you, what do you do with big cubes? What do you need with, when you do the cubes? Grid. Mm -hmm. Grid, okay. So you have to have a grid with the cubes, especially abdominal. So this is grid um, cut off. So either the grid was angled <coughs> against the grid line or somehow the beam was angled. So you can see that's why it looks like that grid cut off. What's this one? Yeah, this is a left lateral big cube. It looks distorted because of the beam angle, which is yeah, everybody's anatomy is a little bit different. So um, see how it, it just looks elongated because that's part of distortion. Um, so this is signaling shot. Tons of diverticulum, good person, all over the place. See the um, appendix. Appendix don't always fill. This this may look like they they had their appendix taken out, but sometimes they don't always fill. You won't see the whole thing. No. This is very empty. Yeah, that one's empty. But this one, I don't know if they had. Um, appendectomy or, or I don't know, but it looks like a little stub there. Can you show the bigger one first? The left lateral? Yeah. Yeah. This one might have, <clears throat> this person might have a little bit of inflammation going on because see how we, we don't see much hostile markings? So sometimes that's it. <clears throat> Indication of in, some kind of inflammation. That's for the same word again? Rectum. 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 Any questions? I'll go over them again when I go over them in class. Um, that's a dying heart. There he is. They are pretty. I like them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs>